Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 60, six day challenge 9.0, and today is day 58. So today we're continuing our training inside of the KW Command app, and I wanted to show you a really cool feature regarding neighborhoods utilizing the KW Command app. We know oftentimes individuals who are looking to move to an area may be looking for specific neighborhoods before they find the specific house, right? So it might be a neighborhood that's close to a school they know or a neighborhood that somebody already lives, uh, you know, friend or family lives in, that sort of setup. Um, just as a reminder, these neighbors are driven by Keller Williams' partnership with Nextdoor. So I realize that the neighborhoods aren't always completely accurate with regards to name and size. They're not available nationwide, coast to coast, every square inch of every county, town, city, etc. Uh, but for those that do have pretty good access to neighborhoods, I think this is an important and valuable tool. So we're gonna click on the hamburger menu, right? There's three little lines in the bottom right hand corner. And one of the options that we sort of looked at in a previous video, but didn't really do anything with was the map option. I wanted to call your attention to that. So if we click on map, it's gonna basically pull up <clears throat> a, an Apple Maps. You can see at the bottom left hand corner is driven by Apple Maps. And on surface level, not much is happening here. It just shows you where I'm located in Katy, Texas. Not a ton of value, I know where I am. But if you scroll in just a little bit, so I'm gonna put two fingers on the map and I'm gonna pinch out, right? So spread out, spread in. It changes the map to show you these next door neighborhood neighborhoods, right? So next door neighborhoods is how I should have said that. And you can see as I move around on the map, the different neighborhoods start to show up. Well, here's the cool part. So let's just say Cinco Ranch Beach Club as a neighborhood. I'm gonna click on that white box that says Cinco Ranch Beach Club. And when I do, I get three options. So if I already know that this is probably a neighborhood that I wanna start sending monthly neighborhood nurture updates about to a specific contact, I could add that neighborhood to a contact. Just by clicking on the plus sign, yesterday we added fictional character Bart Simpson, I could click on Bart's name, I could click on save, and now if we go out of the map view, I'm gonna click on the arrow in the very top left-hand corner to get me out of that view. I'm gonna go down to the very bottom, second icon over, the person in the silhouetted box, that's our contacts applet. And now I'm gonna click on Bart Simpson's name, and we're gonna see if we scroll down inside of his contact card yesterday, based upon his address, he got added to Katie North, but now I've just added him to Cinco Ranch Beach Club. And yesterday we showed you how easy it was to add someone to a smart plan, assuming that they have a good email. And we know Bart has a fake email, but it's simple and easy to add them. By the way, if you already have them on the monthly neighborhood nurture and you add neighborhoods after the fact, then the next time that smart plan will go out, it will have a new section. It's still just one email, but it'll have a new section with that new neighborhood. So let's go back to the hamburger menu, bottom right hand corner. We're gonna go back to map and we're going to zoom in by pinching out, if you will. And we've got Cinco Ranch Beach Club. Let's click on it a second time. View details. I'm gonna skip that for just a second because I want to show you how you can share the details. And then we're gonna look at what you can see and what your consumer or contact might see as well. <clears throat> so I'm gonna click on share details, the third option. And you can see I'm gonna get options at the bottom of my phone that will pull up. That's gonna allow me to either text that. Well, hang on just a second. It just did it. <clears throat> share details. Oh, maybe it's because I already shared that one. Share one neighborhood. Hang on guys, sorry. Let's do share details on phone too. Whoops. Well, it was doing it just a second ago. So I'm gonna reset the app for just a second. I'm gonna close it out. We're gonna bring it back up and I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So back to the hamburger menu, back to map. We're gonna find the neighborhood. We're gonna click on it and share details. There it goes. So I don't know why it wasn't popping up the first time, but you can see now I have the ability to share this information via text, via email, I could send it via probably a direct message on Facebook or Instagram. Let's just say I wanted to text my wife about this information. So I could click on her face. It's gonna send it over and I'm gonna say, hey, babe, that's what I call my wife, she's amazing. I think we should check out this 
neighborhood. Right? Now we love our neighborhood. We probably wouldn't be moving in Katy, but if we were, I could send that text message over, right? And then she would get a text that she could click on and let's show you what those details look like. So each one of these next door neighborhoods has an, their own neighborhood page. By the way, look at the very top of the screen. Whose website is it? It's my website, right? So they're now looking at a neighborhood page and this could be for your contacts. This could be for your family, friends, whatever it may be. And you can see that it starts off with just the map of the neighborhood and showing currently listed properties. Then it's gonna give a market summary for the average list price, how many current listings, how many days on market. And then you can see there's two that are pending. The average price per square foot is 195, the days on market. It's even gonna give us some information about recently sold. So the averages in that space and then it's gonna show you the properties that are active, pending, with upcoming open houses or even recent solds. So I could go through, right, if I was a consumer, and now I'm looking at ones that have open houses coming up and then some additional properties. If I wanted to get more information about the neighborhood, I can continue to scroll down and I could see all of the schools that were nearby, both public and private. So I can click on both of those tabs. I can continue to scroll down and I can get information about transit and commute. Right? I could even get drive times and say, okay, well, I work at, oh, so we'd have to log into this part. <clears throat> We're not logged into the site. But if I logged in, I could actually put in an address and it would tell me what the drive time from this neighborhood to that address would be. So if your consumer already knows where they're going to be working and they're trying to determine what the drive time between this neighborhood and their job would be, you could utilize that aspect. Maybe they want to walk to the grocery store. All right, put in the address of the grocery store, see how far the walk would be. Maybe they want to bike to the gym because you know nothing says working out like working out before you work out. You could put the address for the gym and then bike to the gym. You've also got nearby neighborhoods. So maybe they haven't found the property that they like in that neighborhood, but there's some additional neighborhoods that are nearby as well. Now, don't ask me why it says kilometers and not miles when I'm in Katy, Texas, but that's okay. Um, it'll even show you new properties. And look, each one of these properties, if we click on them, also pull up in my site. And now you can see they've got all the information about that specific property, but they're still in selling real estate at katytexas.kw.com. So again, this was all through the command app I'm gonna go all the way back out. So we've logged into the app. We're gonna go down to the bottom right-hand corner. We're gonna click on map. And remember, you've gotta zoom in on the map to get the neighborhoods to show up. So I'm gonna zoom in. And then I have the choice of clicking on any one of these. I could add the neighborhood to a specific contact. I could view details about the specific neighborhood and I can share details. This also might be helpful for you as the realtor. Right, so say they are sent, they call you and say, we wanna see a property at 123 Main Street. Well, you can come in and put in the address, right? So where is that actual property? They want to go to 22762 Westheimer Parkway in Katy, right? So right now it's just pulling up all of the neighborhoods, but if we hit return, it's gonna drop the pin, right? Obviously right where we are, cause I'm at, the, I'm at this address as we speak. So then I could see all of the different neighborhoods around that address and I as the realtor could learn more about what's happening in those specific neighborhoods that my client wants to see property in. Just makes you more informed, better informed about that neighborhood. You could even look up drive time and say, hey, it looks like it's gonna be roughly only about 27 minutes to your job if you purchase a home in this neighborhood. I think that's fantastic, whatever, depending on your drive time preferences. So that is sharing neighborhoods neighborhood information, adding neighborhoods, uh, getting that out to your contacts via text or email directly through the KW Command app to make your consumer more informed, not only about property they wanna see, but about the neighborhood surrounding that property. Again, with the caveat that these are next door neighborhoods, the data is being pulled from the MLS, but the actual neighborhood itself, the name and the boundary lines are through that partnership with Nextdoor. So, hope you guys found this helpful. As always, hope you're having a fantastic day. I look forward to speaking with you again real soon.